Hey there, I'm Meg and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to print awkwardly sized designs on Canva. So here we are in Canva and what I have here is just a Canva template for an invitation. The first thing you're going to want to do is determine what size your design is. So this invitation is 14 centimeters by 14 centimeters. I converted it to inches so it's about five and a half by five and a half inches. So once you know that, then you're going to want to choose a standard sheet of printer paper that would fit that dimension best. So an eight and a half by 11 would do just fine. We can easily fit a five and a half by five and a half inch invitation on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So the goal here is to be able to print your awkwardly sized design on a standard sheet of printer paper. So the first thing that I did was I created a canvas for an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And if you're not sure how to do that, when you're in your awkwardly sized design, just click file, create new design, and you can type flyer, then eight and a half by 11 would pop up, or you can just click custom size, make sure you change two inches, and then just enter in eight and a half by 11, and there you go. Okay, so basically the premise of this method is you're going to copy everything and paste it into this document. However, you're going to need to tweak your design a bit and I'll show you why. So in this example, I am just dragging and then I let go and I'm clicking command C and heading over here and clicking command V. So now you'll notice the problem is our photo extends way beyond the outer edges of the design. Now, yes, you could technically just cut if you wanted to leave it alone, but I like to make things a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do is click and crop my elements to make sure that they're all right up against the edge of my design. So you just want to click on all of your squares, any elements like that. So then you're going to want to select everything again, then copy, click on your design here, paste, and then the next thing you're going to want to do is drag the entire design into these margins. So whether it's here, here, down here, you want to make sure that it fits within that rectangle margin so that way when you print it, nothing is cut off. If your printer does print to the edge of a page, then you can see if you can fit multiple designs. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. It looks like in this case we just barely can. But again, you want to make sure that your printer can print to the edge of a page. Most printers cannot. So that is the first example of how to print an awkwardly sized design. And this really depends on the type of template that you're using. So in this case, we only had to crop this image, but let's say for instance, you have a template like this one where you can't crop the element because if you try to resize it, you're literally resizing it. There's no option to crop. So we're going to click undo there. So what you can do is I like to add lines around the edges of my design just so I know where I should cut. So we're going to click on elements here and we're going to type in line and just track down a line. Usually this one is best. And you're going to want to make it as skinny as possible. So I'm just going to shrink that. And then just drag that up. Oops. You don't want to drag it off the canvas. Let's zoom in a bit because you want this line as skinny as possible because it is going to end up cutting into your design just a smidge. Okay, there we go and you're just going to drag it to the edges and then you're going to repeat that process all the way around. So that way when you do copy and paste, you're going to again highlight everything. You're going to paste it in. And so now you know where your cut line is. So you'll have lines all around 
So it doesn't matter that you can't shrink this down. You'll know exactly where to cut so that makes it easier. So another instance where you may have to tweak your design before copy pasting is if it has a background color. So I will show you what happens. So we are going to scroll down and again, we're going to copy everything. But then when we go to paste, you'll notice that there's no background. So this solution not only allows you to copy paste over the background, but it also allows you to not have to put lines around the actual edge of the design. So it's kind of a twofer. So we're going to head on back here. And the first thing we're going to want to do is head back to elements and you're going to type in square. And I like to drag it in the corner so I can match the background color. The nice thing is usually it shows up under document colors and it's a perfect match. So what we're going to do next is we're going to click on the background itself and we are going to click white. So we're going to click back on this, drag it to the corner, click position and send it to the back so that way it doesn't block our design. And here we are. So now what we're going to do is select all, copy, paste. And sometimes this happens, you'll notice that the background still doesn't transfer over. So you have to do one little extra step. What you have to do is you have to click on the background to make sure it's selected, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, then select everything, let go of your mouse and your shift key, copy, paste, and here you are. So now when you drag it, you can see that you don't need lines on the top or the sides because the blue automatically shows you where you need to cut. But in the case of the green here, I would recommend adding a line. But that is the gist of it. So again, make sure that you drag your design so that way it fits within the margins. I usually just put it to the middle. And then you're going to click this download arrow here and make sure that you download it as a PDF print. That means that the file will be adjusted properly to have the highest resolutions. So that way it prints as beautifully as it can. You don't need to deal with crop marks or bleed because you are printing on your own printer. And then from here, you can also select if you want to download all these pages or just one, and then you would click download and you're good to go. So that is how you print an awkwardly sized design on Canva on your printer. Stay tuned. I have a, another tutorial on how to print multiple designs on a single page. I will link to that down below. If you are interested in even learning in learning even more about Canva, including tips and tricks like this one, as well as graphic design tips to help you make the most beautifully eye-catching designs possible, check out my online mini course, Create with Canva. I've linked to it down below. I hope this tutorial helps and I will see you in the next video.